Hey kittens, welcome or welcome back. So today I'm gonna to be changing out my A7 binder refills. So here's an overview of how this binder looks. So now I'm about to show you guys how these refills look and since I'm not a paper planner girl right now, I'm going to change these out. So now that those binder refills are out, we can now start unpacking the ABC ones and add them in and I hope you guys continue to enjoy. By the way, if you guys are interested in this binder or these binder refills, there will be links down below and you can also check out my Salsa Roa stationery haul. I'll leave it down below as well or you can check out the link to the video in the card above. So kittens, before we add in these new binder sheets, I wanted to mention how tiny these binder rings are on this A7 six ring binder. So these rings measure under 19 millimeters. So I know for sure that I cannot fit a lot of refills comfortably in here. So for example, if I take this first pack of binder refills and line it against the binder rings, you can see how full and cramped the binder will potentially be since it's too many pages. So just to play it safe, I'm going to go through and only add some of my ABC Neverland refills and then I'll do the same with the A7 sprinkle refill. So here's a peek at how the refills look in my binder and y'all already know I love me a good thumb through especially when my binders have such pretty refills like these.
And for this binder, I love that it has a pen holder and it also has a slot for any cover inserts that you wanna add. So now I wanted to do a flip through of these refill pages with you guys. I just love how dreamy and colorful and pastel these refill pages are. So be sure to comment below your favorite refills from these sets and check back next week to see my first journal spread in this binder. And I'll see you guys in my next video.